Today we're gonna to be building a winter campsite in sub-zero temperatures. And to make matters worse, we can only get our supplies from the thrift store. But thankfully, I'm bringing some friends along, Samuel and Blake! Yay! Thankfully you guys are here to help me because I can't do this by myself. Yeah, it's Freezing. gonna be so cold. You know all about Beautiful. camping, don't no. you? Oh, Samuel. Dude, I have never camped in the snow. So because... I'm the expert? You are the expert. Oh gosh. <laughs> Let's go to the store and get our supplies. Hopefully we don't die. We are here at our first thrift store. Now this thrift store is super unique because they mainly have furniture items, which is going to come in clutch for our shelter. Samuel, Blake, and myself each are in charge of different categories. I'm gonna be in charge of entertainment. Blake is in charge of comfort, and Samuel is gonna be in charge of the shelter itself. So we gotta work together to make sure that this works because tonight it's going to be below freezing. And if we mess up, well, we might die. It's super hard to come up with a shelter from thrift store items because you can't buy tents and you can't buy a lot of that kind of stuff. But this is what I'm thinking. We've got these super cool bookshelves that we could use as a roof structure. If we took this one and we took this other one and we attached them together, we'd have a 16 foot long shelter. Samuel knows what he's doing. I don't. We'll know when we all don't freeze to death whether or not I didn't knew what I was doing. <laughs> the best part about thrift stores is that everything for the most part is insanely cheap. We're looking at all these doors here. Each one of them is only five dollars. And these are actually pretty legit doors. They could serve as maybe walls. What are you thinking with the door, Sam? I'm thinking walls. Wow, that could be like the entrance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, using a door as a door. We're really cool. <laughs> Guys, we could get a piano as part of entertainment. not in tune. Blake, since you're in charge of comfort, do you have any hacks or good ideas for us? Multiple layers of clothing. Samuel knows how to make fires. Uh -huh. You're probably here, and I'm probably down here. So you never camp or anything? No. Okay. Don't know how to make a fire. I'd imagine the rug would help with comfort for sure. So I think we should get some sort of rug. Depends on how big of a space we're going to be building. Well, it's gonna be at least 12 feet long. Based on my quick estimations, I think the bookshelves are actually six feet tall, not eight feet tall. Nice 12 footer would be perfect. I've done so many survival challenges and through my failures, I have learned a lot. Even through the failures of others, Isaac burned a hole in a rug. So I know for sure if we're gonna have a fire pit, do not put it on the rug. What is that? Found some fluff. What is that for? Wood insulates incredibly well. So I don't need insulation in a log cabin, but these doors are completely hollow, so they're gonna be totally useless for insulation. They'll block the wind, though. They will block the wind. Ooh, looks like we got some chairs. These could come in handy. I found a potential bed option, but it's definitely kind of janky. We could make fires under these to keep us warm. No! We could make a fire under us. The only way to keep us warm. No, you keep it warm, you, you burn rocks. You put rocks in the fire and then put the rocks underneath. Yes. Okay. On the side of me. Oh, this is awful. This definitely should not be the bed. Try this one out. Jeez, some metal bar you're laying on right there. Oh yeah, this one's good. This okay. one. <laughs> what, you broke it? Yeah, this one's uh, pretty good. Like you might be where the feet are supposed to be. If you turn around, it looks like the other side's higher. You think we'll find better options though at Goodwill or Ark? It's either this or the box spring or hoping Goodwill has something better. Yeah, your head's like below you. You're gonna get like yeah. all the blood rush. It's like an inversion table. I'm just waiting for my legs to go up. <laughs> this is the best option. Not this one. Well, we need three, right? The good thing about these is that they're small. That I think these actually like... Oh! Oh, that's, that's worse, good. but it's better. Oh, Blake, it works! <laughs> Ah, perfect. I like these more now. It's not too bad now. Comfort. Yeah, as as and then these can be chairs or beds. Just found an electric fireplace. You think this will put out enough heat? Yeah. Yes, you put Does it make one on each end, maybe? It goes up to 90 degrees. This is like a big thing, too, so I'd expect it to work really well. This is our answer to heat. Two of them? Might as well. They're the same color as, like, the cabin vibe. We're pretty well color coordinated, so. <laughs> what do we have here? That's nice. It's a mattress pretty topper. Nice here. Not only does the Ark thrift store have all these blankets. We have a section of pillows. This is the jackpot. Just what we need. Finalize the comfort and heat. Nice Coleman sleep bag for you, Justin. Thank you. The giant hole in it. <laughs> in the toy section, there is so many toys. I don't know what the deal is. But I did find this play mat. This will be nice for the ground to cushion the ground. So I think we'll just get this. I'm gonna look at the board games and find the strangest board game I can find for entertainment. Pirate power. Weird. A no thumbs challenge game. A glow wand. We don't need the unicorn. All we need is the glow stick. I wish they had more though. Only one glow stick. This is probably gonna be lame, but we're gonna get it. The babysitter's club. Whoa. Vintage. How do you play this? I don't know. I can't believe my eyes, guys. Brand new heated socks at Goodwill. We definitely need these. Let's get three pairs. Negative 25 degrees. They work. Really? I doubt these socks are that warm. There's no way. 
made it to our campsite with all our gear. I'm already cold. First things first, we need to shovel our campsite. We're gonna build our shelter in the rectangle. <laughs> We've only been shoveling for like two minutes. My hands are already starting to hurt. The Good. high of the day is already over. It's like 20 degrees right now, and it's just gonna keep getting colder and colder. I think by like two o'clock, it's gonna be 17 degrees. The sooner we can get this shelter up, the better. Now that we got our site area ready, what exactly is the plan now that we have our pieces in place, Daniel? Yeah, we're gonna be making an A-frame out of these boards. Oh! So, um, so anyway, when they're all attached to the bookshelves, then we're gonna flip them over so we have a nice A-frame. So each of these is gonna get attached to the bookshelves and then stand it up and build the whole thing. Makes perfect sense. Thanks yeah. for drawing this out. I'm yeah. really <laughs> excited about this build. Most of the time when I'm building something, I don't really know how to do it, but this is so easy. All we're doing is drilling the door to the bookshelf and Ben just put it together. No structural plan. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Literally one minute, we have a wall. Yeah, and if you want more tips on how to destroy furniture, just keep watching the channel. <laughs> It's already strong. So with our shelter, we wanna make it as airtight as possible. And that means that we don't want any gaps. Right now, if we just attached all of these doors onto the next bookshelf, then we would have this huge gap and air is gonna get through, wind's gonna blow in, our heat's gonna escape. So we're doing a little bit of an overlap here so that our shelter is as strong as possible. I, I told Samuel to say all that since I'm the expert here. All credits to Justin for the plan. He definitely came up with all of it on his own chiseling ice. You might have to go under. I don't know. Did it get stuck on your shirt? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Do we call it Pinocchio now? <laughs> yes! <laughs> If you guys are wondering where Andrew and Isaac are, we have a second channel called Jstu Studios. They both are surviving by themselves in this weather. Andrew's surviving on a frozen lake. Isaac's in the winter sand dunes. We're all suffering together in spirit. <laughs> yeah, in spirit, but separately. <laughs> so the real question is, does anyone want to test the structural integrity of the build and stand on top of it? I mean, I trust it right now, because if I stand on it and it breaks, we have to do all this work over again. Worst case scenario, if it breaks, then we actually can't use the design because it's done so. Yeah, exactly. I trust what we have done. What if one of the trees falls over and lands on the... <laughs> oh man, <laughs> then we got a whole nother problem. Our structure is complete. For some reason, Samuel wants to do a, a integrity test of the structure itself. He's gonna jump on top and uh, hopefully it doesn't collapse. Oh. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Please try, okay. it works. We've done it, guys. It's definitely going to survive if any snow comes and piles on top, even if a tree falls, I'm confident now. You think you can hold all three of us? That's a lot of weight. I, it felt pretty good. We could try it didn't look it. like it was moving at all. One, two, three. Oh, I'm scared. I don't want Justin. Wait, what did you do, Blake? He landed in the middle. <laughs> like, I'm in pigeon pose right now. I'm in ancient warrior pose. <laughs> pose like a hero. Quite a hero pose, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> It is so much nicer in here. Yeah, Just surprise. Come on in. Like, so feel this. Without the wind, it takes it from like, you know, worst day ever down to like, this is pretty dang cold. Next up, we have the carpet for our flooring in there so we're not just sitting on snow. Dude, that's Ooh. like very close. That is phenomenal. Heck yeah. And I love the color. It just sticks with the like 70s oak vibe. Wait, these aren't the same. They just look the same. Oh, lied to. We should like staple it on the inside. Stapler. I made a geometry. <laughs> Wow, my wow. face is numb. Geometry shape. Basically a triangle. I could have just said that. Justin, you're really smart. I know. Math must have been one of your better subjects. Barely passed it. <laughs> this is our doormat. It's actually like a play mat too. It adds some color and fun to the inside. Survival expert. This looks phenomenal. Airtight. Staple the blanket. Perfectly fit. This is becoming a home faster than anticipated. It's pretty good. See how they it holds the heat. That's what I want to know. Yeah, those better work. Those fireplaces are very upset if they don't. Tested and works. It wouldn't have said that if it didn't work. 
Yeah, but if it doesn't work, we're hosed. We're either gonna have to run back out to another thrift store and try to find something, or we're gonna have to like build a fire inside of the house. A hundred dollars though. If it works, it better work for a hundred dollars. Yes. I will put them in each corner. Yes. We just turn these on the house. <laughs> like, all right. Moment of truth. We're gonna plug the fireplaces in and truly test them. Right. One's in. Second in. Here we go, guys. The light's on, but nothing's oh, happening. Huh? Nothing's happening? Well, that's dumb. Maybe it does need to warm up. I don't know. It says it's a fireplace, though. It should no, be yeah. being a fireplace. Immediately turn on. It's yeah. Like, You've got to be kidding me. You have it on full blast? Yep. 90, 90 degrees. This sure. is definitely not 90 degrees yet. Not even 20 degrees yet. It literally says electric. It doesn't even say electric. I'm sure it says electric, too. <laughs> Electric. Yeah, I feel trick. like that's kind of our bad for not noticing that Listen, at the store. I, this was a rip off. Let's give it five minutes. At least both the lights are on and they're both not responding. So maybe that's just how it is. Pray. Pray really yeah. hard. <laughs> it is going to be three degrees tonight. You have to have heat. So yeah, it's probably oh, no around. Way. I feel it. <gasps> it's, it's, a, it's not a blower. It's like warming up. Oh, I feel it too. It, it says it gets it. over 90 degrees though. I can, yeah. You can smell the dust burning off. Yeah, you can smell it. So once we get this, we'll just leave this on and it should heat the space nicely. So we're going to test out our socks that we got because these are rated to negative 25 degrees Celsius. So our feet should be just so toasty warm the entire time. We'll see about that. Uh-huh. They even spelled socks, S-O-S. Dang it. <laughs> Electric is spelled wrong. Our socks are spelled wrong. Got our beds and seats. This is incredible. We are pretty much all set up with the inside. Both heaters are working and there actually is a temperature difference from in here and out there. Starting to get warm. Once we close off the wall of an, an, this, this, uh, that cold still. Once we close off that wall, the heat will completely stay within here. And I feel like I'm hoping it gets up to 90 degrees in here. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of what we have created. Right now it's like a seven out of 10. Yes. And when that door gets closed, it's gonna be a 10 out of 10. We are nearing the finish line in here. As you can see, we're getting some lights installed. Just put up the other door. Already warming up in here. It is phenomenal. Once we get it all finalized, we're gonna make some lunch. Time to give you guys a tour of our shelter. Already warming up. I'm, I'm, I don't need my gloves anymore. You can't see our breath. Dude, it's gonna get hot in here, I feel like. We have two heaters, uh, three beds, that turn into chairs as well. So we each have our own chair, a sleeping bag, pillow, and we have a ton of random lights making it look pretty vibey in here. Some quality Goodwill lights. That's right. This is our snack station. Obviously, thrift stores don't have food. Part of the budget was to go to the store to get food. And in this chest, we'll show you later, we got tons of random activities. That's gonna be fun, but we are all extremely hungry for lunch. So we have this amazing quesadilla George Foreman grill thing. Never seen something like that, but quesadilla maker. So we got all the ingredients to make quesadillas. So glad we found a brand new item at Goodwill. So we got these tortillas, cheese, grilled chicken, side of guacamole and salsa. This is gonna be good. Chicken across the board. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I paid $1,500 of rent when you could just live free like this. Yeah, he's got a point, guys. Ooh, dude, that's, oh, that's looking good and hot. Ouch! Oh, yes, dude, it already pre-cut. It's almost like a calzone. It's cool. George is a genius. This is just, <laughs> this is just the first. Samuel's <laughs> hands in there. <laughs> ah! Great cheese pull, Samuel. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And guacamole. I'm not a big guac guy, thank you. Really? That's my all-time favorite snack. How are you not a big guac guy? I've never had it, actually. Oh, well then you Wait, don't know what? if you're a big guac guy. <laughs> you're just un unaware of the delights of guacamole. Not bad. The Goodwill quesadilla maker was a success. Cheese melted perfectly. We got some chicken. I feel great. Mm. So good. Are you ready for our first activity? Yes. That we're gonna do outdoors. First, golf. Golf in the snow. Oh. Oh, come on. Beat that, Samuel. I am horrible at golf. It is unbelievably cold. It probably doesn't look that cold on camera, but doing it, no gloves, risking it. Hit a tree and disappeared. Sure. When we did our golf budget challenge, Isaac only used a four iron and swore by it, so. 
Oh, that oh. was cool. Shot by a tree. It's kind of fun to golf in the snow. Yeah. I thought doing activities outside would be fun for a change, but it's yeah. It's slowly turning into misery. Yeah, it, it's not slowly turning into misery. <laughs> it's slowly turning into misery. This is not enjoyable. Like I'm using that as my tea. I'm not saying I'm any good at this. I'm just saying. I'm not any better. Oh! <laughs> what? Where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> Justin, the real problem is your gloves are still on. Oh, Dad, <laughs> gum it. Let me fix that. What? what? Dude! Where did that go? Wow. <laughs> it went straight yeah. to the left. <laughs> Dude, you obliterated it. Oh. Hey, we have a toilet now. <laughs> Time to warm up. Got a coffee maker. I don't even like coffee, but it is so cold that I need something warm. Now, it came from Goodwill. Are we sure it's even clean? Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's try it again. Come on. Not that does not look like it's working. There's too much power going into it. Too much <laughs> power going into it? Like into what? <laughs> it smells like coffee. If you want to hold it, it's, you kind of get the sensation of like a warm cup of it coffee. It does smell like coffee. If we keep pushing the button, like, yeah, just like push it, it like multiple times to get a 12 ounce cup. <laughs> well, this was a fail. There's like this weird layer of oil on the top of your water. Let's test. It's like lukewarm. That doesn't sound promising. But it's, smoke, it's smoking too, so that might, must mean it's, it's, <laughs> it's actually, smoking. That means it's hot. Mine's lukewarm, so look at that. It's gonna keep going until it's 10 ounces. Jeez, no, it's good. Like oh, wow. <laughs> that just that, made it. That was close. Like, ooh, it's fogging up my glasses. It's hot. No! <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> we got a few board games. One being the Babysitter's Club. Play it with your best friends. Share a secret. Tell a story. Do silly stuff and more. Oh. B, uh, A, B. Which babysitter's club member loves to be bossy? <laughs> you have to know th this story in well, order to play? I guess it's us. Really? I would say Justin. So how do you get to move forward if, if you answer me? What's just the correct I, answer? Just anything you want to be an answer, I guess. What? All right, your turn. <laughs> how do you explain to your babysitting clients why their entire house smells like vinegar? Wow. Vinegar is the ultimate condiment, and so it has to be placed on any food item at any opportunity. Therefore, when your children decided to eat pizza, it was necessary to douse it in vinegar. You are no longer my babysitter. <laughs> I tend to be an opera singer. Who? Me? <laughs> you do. <laughs> do it while explaining how girls are more mature than boys. <laughs> while you're singing. <laughs> Oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sit nose to nose with another player and try not to laugh before she does. <laughs> Wait, this has got to be only for girls. Why are all the questions about that? Like, they, can she, we can buy an, a girls only game? I guess. Oh, that's yeah, a bad says, Describe the cutest boy in your school. <laughs> <laughs> These are not for us. <laughs> I wish my dad wouldn't blank in front of my friends. <laughs> Fish? <laughs> that was a big waste of time. They should have put on the board game for girls only. How was I supposed to know what this was? Weather update, friends. 12 degrees. And getting worse by the second. And here's the good news. It feels like negative seven. Ooh. Yeah, because of the wind factor. I was going to say, like, I've been comfortable this whole time, but when I stop and think about how cold it's going to get at night, when the sun goes down, I get a little nervous. Yeah, it's projecting to be colder now than it was when we started this challenge. Now it's saying that it's gonna be three degrees tonight instead of five. I wonder what Andrew and Isaac are doing. Ugh. It's okay in here because it stops the wind, but it's not warm. The possibility of not being able to stay here all night could be could be a real option. I think I'll make it. I think I can make it. Oh, guys, don't worry. Ugh. Okay. You're okay. I'm getting nervous. The sun is going down rapidly and it actually is getting a little colder in here. I can feel breeze blowing through here. And even our heaters are having struggle sometimes. This one will turn off randomly. Come nighttime, I'm scared. How you cold is it supposed to get? Three. Three? But it'll probably feel like negative. You can get hypothermia in like 60 degrees technically. Even in 60 degrees? No, you couldn't. If your body can't keep up with heating itself, you can go hypothermic pretty much any time. Well, that makes it worse than for us. Our next activity, Frisbee. And we only have 20 minutes till official sunset. I don't even know where the sun is right now, but it already is getting dark. Ooh. Who's 
make the first drop. Oh, <laughs> oh! It's nice to get out. Even though it's way colder out here, it's nice to get outside because we get to get our bodies moving and it feels refreshing even though it feels awful at the same time. Yes, sir! We have one other, I guess, night activity, and that is the old fire pit. We're gonna see if we can stay warm out here when it's three degrees with the fire. Is there like a, ow! Eight degrees, but it feels like negative 11. It is so cold. This just proves we're not joking around, guys. We're not acting it up like we're cold. It's legit It's freezing. super cold. <laughs> While we get warmed up, it is time to order some dinner. It's gonna take a while to get here. And I have two things I'm ordering that you're never gonna guess. Very strange. So now that it's ordered, while we wait, Samuel has a science experiment for us. In two hours, according to the forecast, it will be two degrees. Got all of these water balloons. We're gonna set them out and pop one every minute and see how many minutes it takes for the water balloon to be completely frozen before it pops. What's your and guess? My scientific evaluations, which is just complete guesswork, I would say seven minutes. Ooh. I would say 15 minutes. How many balloons have we got? We got 12. 12 I minutes. I think they're all gonna pop. We're going 12 minutes and it's gonna still be liquid. Wow, like okay, experiment is starting now. Seven minutes, you think one balloon's gonna freeze? Don't yeah? Worry. Yeah, it probably will take an hour. I think you guys are seriously underestimating how cold it is. No, I'm cold. I'll eat, just, my, we'll eat my ice cream out here as well. When the heck do we get ice cream? Yeah, when are you getting ice cream? <laughs> I made an order. Made an order. <laughs> <laughs> Blink, are you crazy? No, I'm hungry. All right, we'll put these last two down here since they're number 11 and number 12. How cold would it have to be for this to freeze in one minute? All right, Bridges friends, first, first minute is past. Hmm? Oh. How many do you think are gonna freeze? The oh, oh, so cold! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my glove got wet. Get the fire going now! I mean, I guess once they All right, two minutes, point. pop in the next balloon. Once they hit it's it. three minutes. Ooh. Oh. Four minutes, next pop, here we go. I'm freezing. Okay. <laughs> here we go. We're at seven minutes, so this is my prediction. <laughs> 14 minutes now. Here it goes. Food is on the way. I'm super excited about this one, so should be here momentarily. All right, we're past 19 minutes. <laughs> here we go, 19 and a half minutes. Whoa! Oh, oh, that, was just, that was weird. <laughs> Guys, our food has arrived. I'm so excited about this. Tonight's dinner is grilled cheese, but not just any grilled cheese. The grilled cheese mac and cheese. Grilled cheese mac and cheese sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> it actually smells pretty good. Like the garlic toasted bread. So we got this one for our last entree. The pepperoni pizza grilled cheese. I'm curious to see which one will be better. Bon appetit. Pizza. Tastes like the idea of pizza. Yes. Yeah. Tastes like a, a high school pizza bob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marinara takes up from like a six to a nine. Way better with a marinara. Mac and cheese. That is flavorful. This is the essence of cardiac arrest. <laughs> that one's not as good, actually. It's like slimy. The cheese is a slimy kind of cheese. It I tastes like, like a dry it. cleaner. Yeah, it's not horrible, but I definitely like the pizza one better. I feel like it tastes like the pizza one without the pizza. Based on the evidence, I think Blake is gonna end up being our winner on this one. You can see over here, we've got some nice big chunks of ice. But then in the center part, we've got ice here. I'm actually like leaving scratches in it. Oh. But this has still got water inside of it. So I think when I pop this balloon, it's just gonna splash again. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's like not frozen at all. That's crazy. The question is how long will it take? <laughs> <laughs> Our other meals came, so I'm gonna grab those. Oh, you have other meals? Yep. That's great. Yep. What, what are they? I'll just bring them. Is it as good as mac and cheese? Yes, better. Perfect. All right, I'm ready. Oh gosh, it's so cold. Our second meal. Uh, here you go, Samuel. I mean, that's a good dessert. Whose is this? I got some with fudge on it. Blake, get the cone. <laughs> so they don't make you your actual ice cream. They have to like you to make it yourself. Yeah, well, the cone would get soggy, and the DoorDash person would be carrying that in their car. Yes, and what did you skill. get? It's just chocolate with a bunch of fruit in it. Wait, you didn't get a cone? No, bro. I know. Yes. 
Why are we eating ice cream when it is three degrees? <laughs> it's three degrees outside. It's not three degrees in here. No, that's some ice cream right there. What happened? All right, it's been 51 minutes. As you can see, this is pretty frozen, but it's not 100% there yet. But if you look in the balloon, Whoa. you can actually see lines of ice Whoa. that are forming. I can see it. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, but it wouldn't stay in the pop test. Yeah, how much more time? To be fully frozen, probably an hour and a half. Uh, what time you got, 50? Wow, you think two hours? <laughs> I, think, I think you might be right with the hour and a half. But that's cool. I love that line in there. Yeah, that's really neat. Well, it's getting later and it's time we wind down. And would you guys be surprised if we're going to be watching a movie tonight? Because we are. So we're going to do some rearranging in here so we can all set up our movie. What movie do we got, Blake? Ernest's Wacky Adventures. <laughs> oh, man. Double feature. Ernest goes to school and Ernest goes to Africa. Wow. Well, it's a J Stu tradition. We still got a DVD player. Sam has never seen Ernest before. Yeah, he's in for a treat. Yeah, never. I used to watch Ernest as a kid all the time. It's an insane it's movie. basically like part of the family. <laughs> yes, it works. You gotta put it on full blast. Hopefully it's nice and loud. It works yeah. for a second and then it shuts off. No. Well guys, the DVD player doesn't work, so we're gonna watch the same movie on our phones and put it on the DVD player for effect. Wow. Volume's pretty good. It's so hard to see from back here. Even though this isn't ideal, it's actually pretty cool and convenient how this setup is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is over an hour and a half. Not entirely frozen, but that's pretty solid. Ooh, that is oh, just a little bit. Feel that. I mean, I don't know. Whoa. It might be frozen. Can we try it? Do we risk it? Risk good. it for the biscuit? That's kind of cool, dude. Shake it. Oh, there's, there's water in there. Oh, uh, yeah. But look at all those lines. Like, try to cut it very gently. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's either going to shatter when I do this or it's going to. No, don't yeah. like jam it right in. Like, go like do a little slit. <gasps> Whoa! Wow. That was cool. That was epic. That is super neat. Now we got a little frozen ball. Oh, are we draining water? Yeah, we're leaking. So we'll just have literally a little oh, weird hollow be, thing of ice. That's it's gonna, gonna be right so there. cool looking oh, in the morning. Atlanta. The later it gets, the more impossible it is to stand outside. I feel so cold. Well, you guys aren't even wearing gloves for some I reason. know. Wow, that is so cool. Wow, that's rad. And all this water is just like slowly draining out. It's got like a really small leak somewhere. I can't take it, I got it. Immediate. Relief. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it's insanely late. We're gonna set up the beds and I think get some shut eye. Uh, so far, I'm confident. I'm gonna sleep incredibly comfortable <laughs> throughout the <laughs> our light. <laughs> we don't need it anymore. I'm gonna sleep throughout the night unless these heaters happen to give out because it's so cold. This is gonna be a great night's sleep. Yeah, dude. Sleeping here for the rest of my life. <laughs> Your new home. Whoa! Okay. Why did that happen? Now, fix. Samuel, remember what Sasquatch does? Bigfoot might come up and just kind of poke oh. you. Be careful about this, Justin. He might poke you through the your head your head area. Oh, I'm gonna have to take my jacket off. It already is actually kind of hot, oh. even with the sleeping bag. Oh yeah. This is actually pretty cozy. We're gonna go to bed and hopefully nothing disastrous happens. Otherwise, we're gonna freeze to death. At this point, I feel pretty confident. Good night, everyone. What's that sound? It's that mill. Fire, Samuel. Ow! <laughs> oh. well, what no. have you done? I started a fire. I couldn't Dude. sleep, man. I like honestly, the heater is just blowing straight into my head, and it's like my feet are freezing, my head's cold. So I probably just need to move my bed around. But I decided to come out and look at the stars, man. It's been a long time since I've like looked at the stars at night, and it is way it, too cold to just stand and look at the stars. It's actually. <laughs> Very warm right here. Yeah, we were gonna do this earlier and then we forgot to. So I was like, oh yeah, our whole fire <laughs> setup is good to go. So might as well just send it. 
Just here cracking wood inside, wondering what in the world's going on out here. Yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah. It's like my butt is frozen. <laughs> so I have to keep doing this to like... Yeah, immediately turn around. <laughs> yeah, it's like a weird combination of warm and freezing at the same time. For sure. So one of the things that I got from Goodwill that I like didn't tell any of you guys, I got a bunch of ping pong balls. There's actually a box right there. And I was thinking about it, I was like, how would these do in the fire? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna ah. see if something happens? Yeah, I wanna see if they pop. Oh, yeah. Like, cause they're either gonna melt or pop. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> that was a big... Plus the flint. Oh no. It didn't, it oh, it immediately melted. melted. You were full right. of science experiments today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to bounce this to you. You ready to catch it? Yeah. Oh! oh that was sick! <laughs> oh, <no>. um. <laughs> this would be like ultimate ping pong. Ah! <laughs> Your shirt, Blake! You're gonna freeze to death! Blake, why don't you have a jacket on? Get hot. Yeah, you're gonna get freezing in about five seconds. We can turn down the temperature. I know that's crazy, but we can <laughs> do it. I wish we had some s'mores. I know, s'mores nice. right now would be clutch. It would be. This is epic. <laughs> your socks in your pocket? I can use them as gloves. <laughs> Link, what happened to your hands? <laughs> Good morning, New York! Yeah! Oh, still warm in here, guys. Phenomenal night's sleep. Morning, fellas. Oh, oh. Drew. Hi. How'd you guys sleep? Epic. My feet are so cold. Just checking to make sure you guys were alive, so. Oh, the weather's completely different. It's still cold, though. Wow, guys, look at this ice ball. That is so cool. It's literally hollow. What a cool science experiment. Well guys, I'd say this was a mission success. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, make sure you're subscribed. We're almost at 8 million. We'll see you on the next upload.